Why Titan? The habitable area on Titan is quite large. It's the largest moon of Saturn and the second largest moon in the solar system. It's almost half the size of the Earth. And in its magnitude, it looks like the size of Eurasia and Africa combined. The closest distance between Titan and Earth is about 746 million miles. That's roughly the same as if you circled the Earth's equator 33,000 times. The duration of the flight would last seven years. One of the reasons sparking interest in colonizing this moon is the presence of hydrocarbons on it on which most of the Earth's equipment currently works, which would make it much easier for us to fly. Titan is the only cosmic body in the solar system for which the existence of a liquid on the surface has been proven. Therefore, Titan is actually a double of planet Earth. Well, more precisely, it's in the early cold stages of its development. The average temperature on the surface of Titan that you'd have to endure would be around minus 292 degrees Fahrenheit. For comparison, the lowest temperature on our planet, recorded in Antarctica, is minus 119. But at the same time, Titan's atmosphere is 50% denser than Earth's, and it has a magnetosphere. This would protect you from radiation, unlike Mars, where we'd have to go in spacesuits because there's a very thin and vulnerable atmosphere. This also means that you, the future inhabitants of Titan, could do without a spacesuit. It would be enough to develop models of the warmest possible clothing, as well as use masks and air cylinders. Experts suggest that the supply of oxygen could be extracted from water ice located under the surface of Titan. The gravity on this satellite is 14% of Earth. This means that you'd literally be able to fly. Therefore, to a full set of balloons, masks, and an insulated suit, you'd add wings. Of course, the wings of the Victoria's Secret models wouldn't fit here, but something similar to the equipment for skydiving or a wingsuit would be very useful. Yes, Titan has clouds, rain, rivers, lakes, and seas, but they're made up of liquid hydrocarbons such as methane and ethane. Titan's dense atmosphere, as well as gravity roughly equivalent to Earth's moon, means that a raindrop falling from Titan's sky falls more slowly than on Earth. Rainy days on Titan can not only be sad, but also deadly. While Earth's rain falls at a speed of about 20 miles per hour, the rain on Titan falls at a speed of about 3.5 miles per hour, which is about six times slower than Earth's rain. While the maximum diameter of Earth's raindrops is about a quarter inch, raindrops on Titan can reach a diameter of about three and a half inches, about the size of a tennis ball. After all, one Titan day lasts 16 Earth days, and a year is equal to 29 Earth years. Each of the four seasons lasts approximately seven and a half years.